Hey, what's up, buddies? Welcome back. My name is Beaker. Today, we're looking at some Clash Royale insane mismatches. You know what I mean, guys? Like, right here. What you're seeing right here. Level 11 facing a level 8 player. I mean, this is, like, so common in this game. But, you know, it's all good. You can actually win when you have this much of a mismatch. You just gotta take your time. Be cool. Let's see what JMC can do here. He's going up against a much higher level player. I mean, look, look at this guy. He's got a level 6 Dark Prince. I, I don't even have... The Dark Prince. <laughs> that guy's got level 6. So also this guy's Expo. Did you guys see that? It was level 7, right? And he already got a tower. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> so this is my clanmate, JMC. Really good Royale player. He's up around like 2,600 trophies. So this is actually pretty normal. You're going to see high level people if you're high in trophies. So if you're high in trophies, what are you going to do? You're going to either get really good cards or get really good at the game. Or both, I guess. You could always do both. But it seems like a lot of people just, you know, have the, the really high level card. So, you can beat them if you take your time. Look at this, dude. Look over on the right tower of the opponent here. JMC took out half of his tower already. <laughs> That's incredible, right? I mean, he's at a huge disadvantage here. Right there, defended pretty well, man. He could have lost it right there, but he defended pretty well. Notice this guy is kind of just rushing, like... He's not really taking his time. See, he's just like throwing princes, dark princes, ah, just like kind of getting crazy. I feel like that's what I do too. <laughs> I just like lose it. I'm like, ah, I just like throw troops. But you got to keep your cool, man. Got to keep your cool. I feel like this guy's probably getting cocky because he's a wicked high level player. He's like, no way am I going to lose against this guy. But you might, buddy. Check this out. Boom! <laughs> right? Right. That was insane. So, JMC, comeback victory. Well, not a victory, but as far as I'm concerned, that was a victory right there. He came back, got the tower, and now it's time to defend again. Let's see what he can do. So, he's going to freeze. This is perfect. Watch that. Freeze, dragon. What's next? Boom! <laughs> I love that part, man. I think I'm going to save that clip forever. That was incredible. <laughs> he just killed, like, I think he killed 10 minions with a fireball. So... Yeah, that's some MVP stuff right there. Anyway, uh, JMC is still killing it, man. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, he's he's not really winning here, but he should be. So here this guy goes again, throwing a prince down the field, Dark Prince, and he's going to just run into the Inferno and die. JMC easily counters the Expo too. What's good? You know, what, what is this guy going to do now? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like he's not making any ground here. So this gives JMC the opportunity to go for the win. Now, he hasn't even touched that left side, the, the left uh, tower, but he's about to. Let's see it, buddy. Here it is, dude. Barbs. What's, what's in that group there? Barbs, dragon. Oh, and he freezes the prince, dude. That was perfect. I'm not sure if he even meant to freeze the prince, but he happened to freeze the prince. He almost just got the whole tower. What? 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 I mean, <laughs> this match right here is gonna end so crazy and here it is guys check this out so he's going up the field with a bunch of barbs and a hog notice the hog is actually one of his best troops the level six hog that's a pretty good hog and there it is man level six hog for the win are you kidding me are you kidding me he beat somebody three levels higher than him way up in trophies and he was kind of a gentleman about it i think he threw in one laughy emoji you know okay it's it's fair good job to jmc can we all give JMC a little shout out on that one? <laughs> that was pretty sick, man. Don't judge. I mean, that guy was level 11. He had basically like max cards. I mean, I, I can't even remember, but most of them were max, right? Ooh. <laughs> anyway, the whole point of this video is that you can beat somebody way higher level than you if you have patience. So, you know, just be patient, guys. Even if you're not at, you know, 2,600 trophies, it could happen. As we're seeing here. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's a level 8 player going up against Tin, who's a level 5 player, one of my clan mates. And this guy is looking pretty suspicious. He's got the rocket. Ugh. Now, you guys probably know if you play Royale. <laughs> People that have the rocket, sometimes they just lob the rocket at you over and over. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, not there. That was a pretty good move. The guy rocketed Prince's... It rocketed Tin's Prince. <laughs> Boom! There it is. Instant replay. Pretty good move. Rocket on defense. You know, if you're trying to rocket a heavy troop, those work pretty well. Anyway, what's next? This guy is outmatching Tin so, so hard here. He's got so much higher troops. Look at this. Level 1 dragon facing off against the, 
<laughs> the level three expo, but you know, 10, 10 is still in this. The fact is like even having, you know, an epic troop, like a, like a mini dragon, you know, even if it's level one, it can still do some serious damage. So that's going to work in Tin's favor here. Let's see what he can do next. <laughs> Look at this level six barbs against level eight, eight Tesla. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be hard for him to get up there. As you can see <laughs> that level one prince. Yeah. Get some. Oh, yeah. He's not going to get some, is he? No. Anyway, he's setting up here. He's being patient, just chilling. If Tin makes it to the bonus round, you know, the end game where you get the double elixir, he can definitely do something. He's just got to get a, a big rush, you know? And in my experience, like the way to really win, whether or not you're, you know, lower level than the other person is go from defending right into to offense, you know, make that smooth transition and you'll have a ton of troops on the field, hopefully. And, and you'll, you'll get the tower. Hopefully we can see that in, in Tin's raid here. I think he's going to do that at the end. I mean, it's pretty much how it goes, right? You go from defending to offense. If you do it seamlessly, boom, you're done. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Homie has a golem. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. And Tin doesn't have an inferno or anything crazy, but he does have a bomb tower. Look at that level two bomb tower. <laughs> kind of making me laugh, right? It's level two. It's level two bomb tower and it just killed it. And now his level one Prince got up there and got some shots in. Wow. Good job to Prince. <laughs> I keep calling him Prince. His name is Tin. He has a Prince. Why am I calling Prince? Oh, oh no. Did that guy just rocket that tower? Oh, oh no. I, I have nothing more to say about that. <laughs> it's not really cool, buddy. Anyway, Tin comes back and oh my God. In the last like seven seconds, gets the other tower, evens up the match. Watch out, buddy. I can't read your name, but uh, watch out. You might get beat by a level five player. <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be awesome if Tin wins this match? He might. I mean, after all, that is what the video is about. So over there, he shuts down the enemy. I think he had an expo and he countered it with his level two bomb tower again. Nice. And now he's going up the right side and... Oh, one, one, <laughs> no way, dude, no way, what, so I, I just think that's kind of like karma, as you would call that karma, right, the guy, he used lightning and rocket a couple times on Tin's towers, and I think that's kind of uh, karma, Tin wins, <laughs> level 5 player beats the level 8 player, that would be like, if I lost against a level 5 player, I don't know what I do. <laughs> anyway, we got Savage here for the final raid of the day. And this is not quite as much of a mismatch. But, you know, look at this guy's, look at this guy's cards. He's got a level 9 set of barbs. Level 9 barbs are pretty good. I mean, that that's kind of high level right there. So we're going to say this guy's a little higher level than Savage. Let's see what he can do. Excuse me. Look at that hog. This guy has a level 7 hog. That's, that's high level. Dude, that's high level. Anyway, here we go. He went from defending now to offense, and he's getting dragged over the side by the Tesla. No! I hate Teslas, man. They're so good on defense. They're so good. Yeah. Shut him down hard. Anyway, you know, he's he's not doing bad, not doing great yet. Everything's just stuck in the middle here. It's usually how it starts out. Okay, how's he gonna defend against this Prince? Prince, what's up? What's up? Oh! <laughs> That was perfect, man. The, the skeletons came up from the witch just in time. Then he dropped some minions too to get the kill. Good. Awesome. Doing good. So he would have gotten some good shots in here if it hadn't been for that defending wizard. Ugh. Okay. Savage. Let's do this, man. Let's do this right here. Okay, maybe not right here, but you know, g get ready. <laughs> it's almost time to go. So he counters the hog with a couple of barbs. That hog is, is crazy, man. The hog is crazy. Even just by himself, he got a couple of shots in. He's strong. But hopefully this dark... Ah! Bomb tower again. Okay. 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 Obviously, this is going to be a real defensive heavy game. They're not just going to rush each other at the same time. But somebody's going to find a gap here. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Crazy matchup on each side. Everybody's got a ton of cards out. A poison goes down and still nobody makes any progress. <laughs> It's so infuriating when this happens. Like you get a great rush going and then it just gets stopped. You're like, oh, okay then. I'm just gonna go home. Okay. So 30 seconds left. What's good? What's gonna happen now? So, ah, <laughs> ah everybody's got a rocket, man. That was actually not that bad. The guy kind of was rocketing the witch. 
not just the tower. Anyway, let's see if we can get up the field here. So, a couple of troops down. There's a two musketeers and a witch. Ah, bomb tower goes down. What's it going to do? It's getting some shots in, but it goes down. Yes! Okay, this is it, man. Is he going to get it? Poison goes down. Wow. Ah! <laughs> he made some progress, but not enough. Okay, so there's a prince coming up the field. Oh, dueling princes. Yeah, what's up? I love that, man. Uh, it didn't really work. <laughs> didn't really work. Uh, Savage's prince was too low. And there's that hog again. Oh, shut down. Excuse me. The hog got shut down. Does, does everybody use rockets? What, what's up with that? Hey, I think, again, that's called karma, right? Karma? <laughs> anyway... Good job, Savage. Pulled out the win right at the end when it was getting pretty close. So, good job. So, anyway, let me know how you're doing, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.